Hey, my name is Kelly. I'm a program coordinator and I give Kahoot a four out of five. For more reviews like this, click below. Before we used Kahoot, we were using PowerPoint slides and having students write down answers on paper for quizzes that we were doing during our events and our courses. And it just was a lot more complicated. We also work with students who English is not their first language. And so sometimes adding all the different steps just made it an unpleasant experience for our students. And it was something they kind of were dreading when we told them we were going to do a quiz rather than something that added um, a fun element or added something that was able to get the students motivated to participate. I first saw Kahoot used, I was actually at um, a meeting for, I over the summer used to help with summer camps and they had used it there as training. And I thought, what a cool idea. This would be awesome to bring to our courses since what we were doing currently wasn't working. And so I thought it'd be fun to have something that was more engaging for our students, especially something where they were able to pull out their phones and use technology because in some ways it almost feels like a break from the class or the lecture, even though they're still doing some learning, they're still participating because they're not just sitting there taking notes, they get to pull out their phone, it adds an element of fun. And all our students always have their phones on them anyways. You know, sometimes it's a struggle to get them to put their phones away. So I figured, hey, I think that Kahoot would work really well for our group of students because they already have their phones and it's just something that's a little bit out of the ordinary and more fun. Getting started with Kahoot was a little bit of just kind of jumping in and trying it out. We actually did have a teacher on our staff team who had used it before, so that was nice because she knew some of the ins and outs because when I just jumped in to make it for our first event, there was some a bit of a learning curve. And then of course, training our other instructors because we actually run events and courses all over the country. So training other people to be able to use Kahoot. Uh, at first, there's a little learning curve. So it took maybe a little bit for our instructors to get started. But I think once they saw how engaged it got the students and how much fun it was, they were more encouraged to figure out how to use it. So when I first got started, yeah, I made my own account, kind of played around with figuring out how to make the quizzes and get things running, and then sort of disseminate that information to the rest of the team. I think the best piece of advice I could give to someone who is interested in bringing Kahoot to their business organization is to try it out for yourself. There's a lot of pre-made quizzes that you can do. Just get on there, try it with a group in training or something to see how it works. And I think also once you see how engaged people get when they're using it, you'll realize the benefit that it can bring. Plus, it's nice to be able to see what kind of functionality it has. And I think that helps if you're actually getting on your phone as someone who's taking one of the quizzes or participating in one of the games or programs. So to actually do it yourself, then you can see, oh, okay, here's maybe something I can use this for. You can kind of see how it works. You also get a sense of sort of the fun and the competition that comes with it. I think that was really what made me want to use Kahoot was actually I tried it out as a participant rather than as the facilitator. So that would probably be my first bit of advice. My second bit of advice is just to get on there and experiment, play around with it, make some practice tests or quizzes, um, run them by people to see how they go, and then kind of, you know, fine tweak those for your final presentations.